He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Ladies and gentlemen, this is breaking news. Do you know why my crew is not live with us right now while they're out of contact? They are under sustained LRAD sound cannon attack. You know, they rolled these out at tea parties in California and other places. First time I saw them was 2004 in New York. They have the National Guard engaging American citizens right now with deadly acoustic weapons that damage the middle ear. They Mike just talked to him. All, in fact, get Mike Nelson in here right now. And they go, we can't hear you. It's painful. It's yeah! And we're text messaging him, telling him just to call in right now. So, but the, but it's, it's blindingly loud. Get Mike in here right now. Mike heard it. Uh, this is happening right now in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, while the G20 and mainstream news is getting rid of the dollar, bringing in world government against everybody right now. Um, Mike Nelson just talked to uh, to to Jason Douglas, and J he's like, "I can't hear you. I can't hear you. We're under we're under sound weapon attack." Uh, my, Mike doesn't probably want to be on TV, but we'll just turn his mic on. Mike, you talked to him. You said you heard it. Uh, you're texting him now, telling him to call into the hotline. We're going to Sherry Tenpenny in a moment. Mike Nelson, office manager here at Infowars, tell folks what he told you. He said that they're they're they can't hear anything that I'm saying because they're under uh, sound weapon to try to get everybody to disperse and leave the area. And what are, what does it sound like? It it was just a very very loud. I could barely I can't hear him because it's almost like make a, the sound. Loud, like, make the sound. Nah, that's what they do. Yeah. Nah. And then I hear a voice every so often. Um, a voice saying, "Get back, get back," to, to leave the area. But you you. Holy mackerel! Put on CNN right now. But I can't hear. I'll this. guarantee you this is going to be on the news. We've got uh, reporters in the zone right now in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, as the bastard bankers totally take everything over. Are they texting you back? I mean, we've got to get them on now. No one's texted me back. Oh, man. We should have had the operating procedure that if they got hit with a sound weapon, immediately call in. Tell them in the text, get out of the area, and then call in. Ah, well, no doubt they've got video of this incredible event. Oh, man. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, I tell you, this brings new meaning to the word info war. Wow, Alex. That's pretty scary, isn't it? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I mean, my life is like a Twilight Zone episode. Alex, do you know, have you heard reports from other parts in the world? I mean, other than the U.S., are these sorts of things, these sound wave technologies, these mandatory vaccines, the FEMA camps, all this other stuff, in other countries are yes. these the same? Yes, simultaneously, the Air Force said, well, we can't use this in Iraq in 2004 till we use it in America. So they started using it here, then saying it was a no big deal. Now they're rolling out microwave guns. Uh, we've gotten confirmed reports, and I saw this in Denver, but it was in a police area. And when they saw me videoing it, they, 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 they brought it in a garage. They have microwave guns, big, big mounted on Humvees. Uh, <laughs> Listen, this is such a police state there that they tried to talk to the military and talk to a spokesman last night. Defense Link put a press release out, and they said, and they said no, we're not going to talk to you. Get out of here. Then, the, then they got their license number, had the police pose as Alamo rental car people from the county there, Allegheny County in Pennsylvania. They called them and said, oh, we've, your, your car's got no brakes. Bring it in. And they said, well, we're in the cordon at G20. We're news reporters. We can't get out till tomorrow. And they said, well, that's fine because I'm a police officer with the Army and FBI, and you've all been put on terror list, and your life's over, boy, and we know you're a terrorist, and you were sneaking around the military base and ran. All lies, Sherry. Just, I mean, and they just think of us as dirt. Well, and here's the thing, Alex, is that you say they just think of us. They are our neighbors. They are people who live in our communities. Their job is working for the other side. We have to get through to these people that, wait a minute, I'm your friend, I'm your neighbor, I'm an American, I vote for presidents and uh, people just like you do. Why are you doing this? I mean, we ha there has to be a way. We have to learn from history that, you know, when Nazi people, when, when, in, when Germans started uh, assaulting fellow Germans, I mean, all the Jews that they, that they dragged away were all Germans, and then they hurt other Germans. I mean... We've got to let people get through to them, stand there and say, wait a minute, you're in America. Why are you doing this? 